right. And we're joined now by Carl Edwards. As Tiki said, get ready for a little racing this weekend. Always a fun part. Obviously, it's uh, you know, incredibly popular throughout the country. And uh, Carl Edwards getting ready to do a little damage, hopefully, for his part at the Daytona track, uh, Coke Zero 0400 this weekend. Carl, Tiki, and Tierney, how are you today? Hey, I'm doing great. And, uh, yeah, I'm here at Daytona. We uh, we just got done with the practice session, and we're, we're gearing up for the, the – well, there's two races this weekend. There's a Subway Firecracker 250 tonight which I won't be driving in. I'll be watching. And then tomorrow night, the Coke Zero 400. So hopefully we can get a win here at Daytona. Yeah, mm. but tonight at the Firecracker, it's, I think I think it's great. And I think it's fantastic what Subway is doing. So before we get to some of the racing and the Sprint Cup and all those things, tell us what Subway has going on with the military vets that are going to be serving as Grand Marshals and some of the donations that they're going to come out of this race tonight. Uh, thanks for asking. I, Subway does a lot of this stuff, and they, they do it pretty quietly. And so this is an opportunity to talk about it. They They've donated $125,000 to the USO, which is spectacular, and, and that including 5,000 meals for troops and their families. So they, they've done that. They're also honoring two veterans. One will serve as a grand marshal and the other honorary starter for the Subway Firecracker 250 tonight. And both of these, these folks are veterans. They're franchisees. They own Subway, um, Subway stores. And, um, and then after this, I'm going to go have lunch. Uh, I'm going to actually have some Subway with some Coast Guard members. So we're spending this weekend. Subway is, is not just supporting our sport and doing the things that they do. They're, they're honoring our troops and making sure they give back. So it's, it's really a cool weekend to be a part of. It's outstanding. It, it, do us a favor, though, Carl, before we get into the race and, and how you feel about your prospects and, and all that stuff. If things uh, get a little physical this weekend, please tell me you're going to throw a better punch at those two Yahoos from the truck series. <laughs> I mean, you guys had to have a good laugh about those two. What the? What that was wasn't that? really a fight. It was just like it was, you call it a fight, but it wasn't a fight. It was pathetic. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I don't know. They, I, I, you know what? I think they both, when they, when they got done, the way they walked away, I think, explained it all. It's like, man, that's just no They were thing, exhausted, you know? Carl. So they were exhausted. <laughs> I think it had been a long night. I watched, I'd watched that race, and uh, they kept getting caution after caution, and I, I think um, you, know, you saw that frustration come out. But they did miss some good opportunities for some takedowns there. That's they right. Did, um, you know, they didn't, they didn't have – you know, I didn't see any underhooks or anything. So they were – but, you know what, that's racing, man. That, that happens all across the sport every weekend. It's um, – it's very hard to express yourself from inside the race car, so I think they got out and they must have had some words and then just decided let's do it. Hey, tempers flare. Things happen. Carl Edwards, of course, NASCAR, getting ready for this weekend, the Coke, the Coke Zero 400 at Daytona. You know, I'm curious how, how this works its way into your your craft. I mean, sometimes, like, all right, so uh, recently U.S. Open golf, and you get a sense, you'll hear guys, whether it's Jason Day, Rory, whomever, Jordan Spieth, you know, I'm, I'm in control of my swing or I'm searching or – I feel this particular way, and I expect this. And usually it's a relatively accurate foreshadow of how that player performs during the event. Is it the same in your sport? I mean, do you – I mean, obviously you're confident and you're prepared, but are there times where you just feel better, uh, more in sync with your car, more in sync with, with, with your skills going into a race than others? Yeah, so our sport is um, – it's deceptively complicated, and what happens is – we build these race cars, and there's so much that goes into the cars. And then you go to the racetrack, and, you know, the driver sits in the car and explains, hey, to go faster, I need this, 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 and this. And if you're not accurate, you don't go faster. And even if you are accurate, you describe what you need, then all the engineers and the crew, they have to be able to fix the car and make it go faster. So, so not only do you need confidence in your abilities to drive the race car, you, you have to have a crew that can respond, and you have to have the communication between the two. So it, it becomes a very complex sport and you, you go into each one of these races with with yeah that confidence but you also you don't know what's going to happen i mean it it's uh these events are crazy and they're extremely dynamic you're, you're not just racing one other team you're racing 39 other people and they've all it's a zero-sum game you know they, they want to beat you every corner every lap and and it gets pretty pretty interesting yeah no it is one of those team sports that doesn't feel like a team sport and i mean obviously because yeah. of the guys on joe gibbs racing who are, you know you're not really helping each other but you're not hurting each other because Rubin is racing, as we all know. Um, but it's also, you, if you can't trust the guys of your crew, you have you have no chance. Which brings me to the Coke Zero 400. And you talked about having a good run uh, at practice uh, today or yesterday. I can't remember what you said this, mo- uh, this morning. Um, you, may, you won the poll last week, um, uh, and you ultimately came in fourth. You've had a couple of wins on, on the Sprint Cup this year already. How are you feeling going into Sunday? 
Well, it's Sunday. Or Saturday, I should say. Yes, um, it's fine. I call it Sunday also. Yeah, I know. Um, that's usually game day, game right? Sunday. <laughs> so it, it, these, all these races are different, and the, you know, to the casual observer, um, they seem the same. But this race in particular at Daytona, we have what's called a restrictor plate on the cars. So that to, slow the, to keep the cars from going 230 miles an hour, they actually slow them down to a speed at which everyone can stay wide open the entire way around the racetrack. So now we will be in a group of 30 to 40 cars you can't separate yourself from anyone else. You're drafting, and so it presents this entirely new challenge. This race is really uh, one of the most unpredictable events. It's definitely one of the, the riskiest for everyone involved. We have massive wrecks, and, you know, and it's really um, a nerve-wracking event. And, you know, until the last corner, anyone with inside of the lead has a chance to win this thing. So it's, uh, it's a very tough race. So to Carl Edwards with us here on Tiki and Tierney. Now, Carl, we talked to uh, Denny Hamlin before the Daytona 500. We gave him luck. We oh, yeah, him. tell him about the mojo. <laughs> yeah. You're going you're gonna to win this weekend, off. by yeah, the way, Carl, you. just so you know. Exactly. You're going to win this weekend because you're on Tiki and Tierney <laughs> <laughs> this afternoon. I'm he just telling you. Kidding. I'm just telling yeah, you. It's just, it's just the way that it works out. Uh, but an interesting question I ask him, and I'll ask you, obviously with Joe Gibbs racing, you guys are Toyota for a lot of your year when you're back with uh, your career, especially when you're back with Roush. You were, you were driving Fords, and Toyota is, is now new into – NASCAR per se. What's the difference? You know what I mean? Because to us, it's just a car. But what is it? What's the difference to you all? Well, it's like anything. Um, there's a whole. I mean, basically, a army of people behind you know behind the scenes at all these companies that are making things happen. And I spent a lot of years with Ford, with Jack Roush, and I learned a ton. Uh, there's so much history there, uh, you know, and, and history here in the United States and everything that that went on um, from Henry Ford till now. And, um, and I learned a lot, and I really enjoyed that relationship. And then I moved over to Joe Gibbs Racing, and it's a whole new world. Uh, you know, learning about how Toyota does their business, learning about the way that they, they you know, how much they respect uh, the U.S. marketplace and the NASCAR fans and, uh, you know, the factories they build here. I think they, they employ something somewhere over 300,000 Americans and, and build a lot of vehicles uh, here in, in plants, just like the one in Kentucky I went and visited. So it's, um, but it's, but it's different. You know, it's a completely different business. Yeah, you look at the car a lot, and it's like, oh, those are the Toyotas and those are the other manufacturers. Uh, but everyone runs their business differently, and I've really been, been pleased to learn about Toyota. Uh, and then the other thing about Toyota is that our engines are built by Toyota, by TRD. So that's a different relationship than some of the other manufacturers. Uh, we get our engines basically in the mail from Toyota, and that's that's pretty neat. Carl Edwards, get ready for a little racing this weekend. Daytona, Carl, good luck. And uh, we're not kidding. I mean, <laughs> like every time we have somebody on for a race or or big golf event, they win. So uh, it's you called have... the Tiki and Tierney Mojo, so you can thank us All in right. advance. All right. Well, hey, if it works, I'm going to call you next Friday. Yeah, yeah. Please. <laughs> please do. And good luck with the, uh, the Subway ambassadorship that you have going on. Good luck with lunch and, obviously, to all of our service members, we appreciate you and what Subway and you all are doing. Hey, thank you for saying that. And yeah, and that's another thing. If we win, we will send you some uh, Subway, uh, nice. some gift cards or something. Nice. So you can go get some lunch. You nice. got it. See you later, Carl. Right. Be well, pal. See you guys. You got it, man. Seems like a nice guy.